Space is important to me. It's what sets the mood and tone. A space can bring forward thoughts that have been dormant or forming in my mind. And depending on the space, it can allow me to be completely vulnerable with myself and explore the world and myself without judgment. I've been spending a lot of time at home this year like everybody else, and I've been making my home a place where I feel comfort, safety, and joy. This last year was also the first time that I worked full time for myself. It was my first full year working from home. I like to think of my space as a thing that molds and changes right alongside me and reflects my current needs, state of mind, and aesthetic through the different stages of my life. In Japanese culture, there's a kind of belief that there's spirit in everything, in both living things and not. I used to interpret this as a child that every single one of not just my toys and stuffed animals were alive, but also things like my desk, my toothbrush, my blanket, and the pens that I used for school. In fact, I used to think that if I didn't spread the use of my pens and pencils evenly, then the ones I don't use often would feel left out, so I'd pick those up too. And now that I'm older, I still think there is spirit in the things you surround yourself with. Maybe not in quite the same way as I did when I was younger, but I think about how what you surround yourself with can create a unique environment for yourself. And because I've been spending so much time with my beloved things, I wanted to share with you some of my favorite things in my room that have brought me joy this last year. This picture ledge is something I made a few weeks ago. Filling my space with things that I made by myself reminds me that I have the ability to make something from nothing and that with some skill building, I can surprise myself with what I can do. I also really like my space to reflect some element of nature too. I kind of almost feel like I need some level of natural entropy to be happening within my space in order for my brain to buzz in the way that I want it to. So the natural curves and grain of the wood is something I made sure to have stand out when making this piece. I filled it with a few pieces of art that I really admire all speaking a different language to me about creativity and having beauty in your life. This is also something that I made pretty recently. I've always wanted an Edison bulb in my room because I love the warm glow that's not too dark or too bright. I found the light itself from the color cord company, but when it came to mounting it, all the ways I saw online didn't really spark anything in me. I came up with a design that I liked and made this with a few pieces of wood from my local hardware store. At night, it looks really pretty. And while I generally like well-lit spaces, the soft glow gives my room a sense of coziness that I love having in a space. The next two are things that are important members of my desk setup. The first is a MacBook stand. My MacBook is my main workhorse for everything that I do, but I rarely ever use the screen and keyboard that it comes with. Instead of opting for something bulky or metallic, I found the stand on Grovemade that I've been adoring for a while. They graciously gifted me this one after I reached out and I love it so much. The wool lining feels like my MacBook is being cradled safely and I just really love the wood grain too. My pen stand was also gifted and I love how soft the edges are. It almost kind of feels like a mini tree that hosts my writing utensils for a little party. I love keyboard clacks a lot. I think my brain likes it because clacky keyboards reminds me of a former generation. And so the sound in and of itself is nostalgic to me. It reminds me of the times in computer labs, the times when I'd go on my dad's Apple computer, and of my eMac in high school that came with a Bluetooth mechanical keyboard. Ugh, I loved that keyboard. Right now, I'm using the Keychron K2 with Gatoron brown switches, and it just sounds so nice. I feel like that, along with whatever music I'm playing through my speakers, is a theme song to my room. It's a relaxing and reassuring sound that time is moving forward, gently 
and softly. Lastly is my diffuser. Being on a computer often makes me forget that I'm a human being with five senses. So I guess I really like objects that remind me that I am, in fact, human. So I love this diffuser I have from Muji. This was my birthday gift to myself last year since I'd been eyeing this one for years, but it's easily one of my favorite things in my room. The gentle mist, the color, the warbling sound, and of course, whatever scent I put in for that day instantly puts me into the mood to create, relax, do work, or nap. I most often use this Hinoki scent. It's Japanese cypress, and it's both relaxing and refreshing at the same time. It's amazing to me that the things you surround yourself with can transport you to another world without really ever having to leave. Granted, while I wish we weren't in a pandemic and we could leave to explore the world and reunite with our loved ones, I've grown to have so much gratitude for not just the people in my life, but my things too. While silent, I love that they're by my side as I show up every day to do life.